fellow Sudokans, and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's Thursday, the 20th of April, 2023. I hope you are keeping well. Uh, I mean, for another day of work, and tomorrow there might not be any Sudokus, because I've got too much work. Um, so, uh, let's see what's happening in the world. As always, the poor suffer. As always, the poor suffer. Um, in Yemen... Um, the BBC is reporting up to 80 people. The Guardian is reporting 85 people have died uh, after they tried to distribute some money, uh, trying to give some money to the the poorest people after, of course, Yemen has had a horrific war that has just been dragging on and on. And, you know, the political, global political forces that are involved in the Yemen war. Um, yeah. And, uh, you know, who else needs to desperately, uh, you know, rush for money? Apparently they're saying that the um, it was badly organized, that they just kind of handed stuff out with any proper organization. That's what caused a crush. Um, but anyway, it's always the poor that suffer, unfortunately. All right, let's get on with the Guardian hard-level puzzle for today, shall we? Uh, this is the first hard-level game of the week or Sudoku, I won't bother to explain the rules. Uh, I'll just get on and tell you where the first number appears that I can see anyway, and that's the one appearing in this square here. Um, uh, we can do a bit more with the ones. I think we've got one blocking here like this. So that's going to put one in one of these two squares. Either of these two squares contains a one, which will block across this row, and of course, then we have the other convenient ones intersecting and blocking as shown uh, well we started with digit one because that's the first digit that I saw shall we continue in a numerical fashion counting up in an orderly fashion not rushing not stampeding let's put our two here uh, right now Okay, we have two blocking down here and blocking down here. So that means that two has to be in one of these two squares. Oh, sorry. I was, forget that. <laughs> Cancel that idea. I thought I'd seen something. Never mind, I've seen something else. Eight blocks down here, eight blocks across here. That's something that I know to be to work. Let's do that instead. We have nine blocking down here and nine blocking across here. That's going to put a nine into that square there. And uh, what are we left with here? Five blocks down here. That's the five. And this will be the two to complete this block here. Uh, so now we can do a bit more with the twos going up here like this and two across here. That will put two into that square there. And then the twos down here and down here and across here means that that's two, two blocking across here, across here, down and down. I think that's the final digit two. Yes, okay, so that's our first completed digit. We are done and dusted with digit two. Let's just keep on, as I said, let's go in a numerical way for now. See if anything comes up. Oh, that's the only seven on the board, okay. All right, so uh, the super easy stuff is probably done. Uh, let's see what else we can do. Just looking around here for looking around for some help. 
Okay, we have the five blocking down here like this and five across here. So that means five is in one of these two squares, right? Blocking up here and five block across here and across here. That will give us a five in that square. Okay, I like this one. We've got six blocking here and six blocking here, right? So we must have a six somewhere in this um, column here, right? Do you agree? You do. Okay, great. S must be somewhere here. Now we have this six blocking this square. So we know that the six must be somewhere in this row because there's no other possibility for it. So at the intersection of this column and this row, we know that six is there. Okay, we in this column, we have 8 blocking this square, 8 blocking this square, and 8 blocking this square. So that's the location of 8 for this column. And then we can take the 8s across here like this, which will give us an 8 over here. Four is one of our missing numbers from these two squares here, so obviously that blocks that square there. Four will appear here, and this will be a seven to complete the row. Now seven down here and seven across here puts the seven into that square there. Okay, missing numbers in this row are 3, 4, and... No, they're not. I am wrong. Sorry, I made a mistake. 3, 5, and 9. Oh, dear. Forget that. That plan didn't work. So I made a mistake looking at the digits. Meanwhile, up here we have one blocking across and one up here. That's going to put a 1 into that square there and okay so one and seven are in this column one and seven in this column so they both block upwards like this and that means one and seven have to be in these two squares here we can see the one already blocking that square so we know the one is here and the seven is there Nine then blocks this square here, and that means nine appears here. And the last number for this particular block is a three. So now we'll finish this column with, I think, a six. Uh, okay, three blocks across here, so the three will appear here, and five is the last number there. Five blocks across these two rows, and down here, that gives me a five there. One number to go to complete this row, that's going to be a 9, isn't it? Uh, missing numbers in, in this column, I believe, are 3, 4, and 7. Let me double check, though. I don't want to make another mistake. 3, 4, 7, yes. And 3 and 4, oops, are in the same row here. So if it's not 3, it's not 4. It's got to be 7. Now, 3 and 4 actually block across here like this, so we have a pair of 3 and 4. Or you could just look across here and see that 3 and 4 go there. 
um, not sure which is which yet but what about what's left down here we're looking for uh, six and eight. Oh, no help on those either but you know that's sudoku right you have to look and sometimes you get lucky oh meanwhile there's just one empty square up here i must do that one of course silly me uh missing digit here um is uh three i believe So now we have three blocking across here and up here that will place a three in that square there. And uh, I think we have, what do we have up here? Okay, yeah, three and nine. Three and nine in these columns, so three and nine blocking all the way to the top. It means that those squares contain only three or nine, so we can get the missing number here. We know that this is three or nine, and so this will have to be six. Missing numbers here and here look to be four and seven. I don't see which is which just yet though. So we'll come back to that in a moment. Missing numbers across this row are five, seven, and nine for these three squares, I do believe. Again, I'm gonna double check to make sure I haven't made a mistake. Okay, and we've got the five and the nine in this column. And we ask ourselves, can this be five? Ah, ah. Mouse has died. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on a minute. Hold on just a, just a second, just a second, just a second. Mouse is dead. Um, now, I haven't been put in a mouse trap or anything like that. Um, it died of natural causes. They died of natural causes, I should say. Both of them. Takes, my Apple mouse takes two batteries. And I'm using these rechargeables. Some of them are okay. Some of them are not so good. Let's see if we're back online. Come on, come on. Yes, yes, we are back. Now, I have no idea what I was about to say. Oh, yes, I can see now. I had three numbers missing from here, which were 5, 7, and 9. And we ask ourselves, can this be 5? No, can it be 9? No, then it must be 7. Uh, and now we have the 9 blocking this square, so we know that the 9 must go over here. And we can finish this row with our 5. Um, we also have 5 blocking across like this and up these two columns. And uh, that will be a five. It's like getting a break in the middle of playing a Sudoku when your batteries die. Um, uh, what's left to be done here? I lost concentration a bit there, I'm changing my batteries. That's the trouble when people interrupt you when you're playing Sudoku, I think. What's missing in this column here? We're looking for four, we're looking for eight, and we're looking for seven I think four eight and seven so we've got the seven blocking these two squares that will be the seven and we'll be left here with four and eight I think okay now I already worked out what this was didn't I but I've forgotten it. it's one and nine isn't it one and nine here four and eight here so we can work out the last number here uh, it's got to be it's got to be that I've this is not one and nine, I apologize. This is three and nine, sorry. Three and nine here. I think I said, I don't know if I got it wrong earlier on, but this is definitely three and nine, not one and nine, I'm sorry. Three and nine. I think I just misspoke. Four and eight. Uh, so what does that leave? That leaves a six. Or you could just see the sixes blocking up here if you need confirmation. Six then blocks across here. That will put a six into that square. And the last number here is going to be nine. Nine blocks across here and up here. And of course, we know this is a three because we just said so. Three also blocks across here and up here. That puts the three into that square there. We've got threes blocking all the way to the bottom here, giving us a three there. We've got one number missing here, which is a four. Let's put that in. Four blocks across here. That gives us a four in that square. The missing number here now is an eight. Let's put in the eight. There's just one central number here. Hey, what are you? You're a four. Thank you, four. Four also blocks across here, that gives us a four there, four blocks up here and across here. We can finish the digit fours. We now have one, two, three, four, five, all complete. That's nicely in series. Shall we see if we can do the sixes next? Uh, the answer is no, we can't, never mind. Um, let's do a seven blocking across here, that puts the seven there. Seven down here gives us a seven in that square. Um, now can we do the sixes? Six blocks across here, six goes there, six down here, 
here's the six. So we now have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven finished. We're just looking for eight and nine. Where's the eight? Well, we need an eight in this block here, and we need an eight in this square here, and now we can just finish with a nine, so we've gone in an orderly fashion, it seems. That's it. Um, I might be back this evening with a game, uh, or I might not. <laughs> I have no idea, but in the next few weeks, Sudoku will be rationed, I'm afraid. Bye-bye.